Hi, I'm Dr. Susan Thompson, and this is a session on creating a person-centered care card. I'm going to talk for a few minutes about um, the background for person-centered care cards. I'm also going to give you some instructions and show you how to make a card. I'm going to talk about principles of person-centered care cards and then also three steps for making a card yourself. So the good news is there's no artistic talent required or even necessary for this process. We're gonna spend a little time just choosing images. I've got a stack of images right here. Um, we're gonna assemble small collages um, on the back of your person-centered care card. Um, and then once we've assembled a card, with a focus. Uh, we'll spend a minute or two just reading the card and I'll show you all of that in this demonstration. There's a pretty structured um, process for reading a card and again I'll demonstrate that in this session here. So person-centered care cards are based on um, soul collage. Soul collage is a, a process that was developed by Sina Frost who herself was a psychotherapist and she discovered um, ex an extraordinary way of helping people to integrate information and explore um, deeper parts of themselves and as we are focusing on person-centered care the reason that we chose this particular formula was to help you really integrate the three principles of person-centered care those principles being presence, relationship, and strengths. You're going to focus one card um, this time, and you can make three cards or more than three cards that you, if you'd like. But you're going to focus your card today on one of those principles. So you're going to pick presence or relationship or strengths. And I'll talk a little bit about the, each of those principles here in a minute. As Soul Collage itself, the foundation of these person-centered care cards, Soul Collage is a creative process. Um, and it's usually done in community. It helps to be in the presence of other people as you're making these cards. And we create cards just from images. No words, just images. Uh, and they, again, they represent different principles. And as you work with images, the information that you're processing kind of processes at a deeper level. And we want that for you because we are aiming for person-centered care becoming really a big part of the culture of your organization. So um, there are, I, I can give different samples of cards but we're going to break it down to um, some different uh, the specific steps. Let's first look at the different the three different principles. And I'm just going to actually read from the card itself. You have um, you should have a copy of the card. Kind of looks like this for uh, one organization. Um, pre presence is a theme that contains elements of mindfulness. It represents a state of being an attitude of openness and acceptance. And examples of presence might include openness, respect, empathy, non-judgment, acceptance, compassion, patient, witness, scribe, trust. So any of those could be how you interpret uh, presence. And of course, those are just examples. So maybe there's other ways that you would interpret uh, presence for yourself. The next principle is relationships. And it relates to people who impact you, your personal story with their special energy. People that could be included in this theme might be ancestors or teachers or authors. People have inspired you or challenged you in some way. They might represent different clients that you've worked with or people at work yourself. They could 
represent children or your spouse or pets. My very first card on relationships actually included an image of my dog because, you know, she represents this great positive relationship that I have. They could include different friends or family members, um, famous people, anyone who's influenced your life um, and, um, and who you are today. So that's about relationships. The third principle is about strengths. And that particular theme includes um, inner parts and qualities of your story, your personal story, and what your strengths are. And um, you're gonna pick images to represent your strengths. Um, so maybe you're a good evaluator, maybe you're a good observer, maybe you're a good rebel, um, or an introvert or artist, creative person, organizer, teacher, caretaker, there's a whole list of examples of strengths on uh, the card itself. So make sure you take a look at this card. In addition to having information about the three principles, it also has the steps for putting your name on this card, deciding what theme that's included, and then the reading process. So I'm not actually going to glue anything onto this card until I've um, finished with gluing images on a particular uh, uh, background. So um, the first thing that you're going to do is to decide on one of the three themes that you want to recreate a card um, on. In a stack, you may have pre-trimmed. Um, images, ones that are just the right size or pretty close to it um, for the card itself. Um, if you don't have one that's um, trimmed close, then you can do that yourself. I decided that the easiest thing, though, for a large group um, is to select pre-trimmed um, images. I've spent time um, cutting out backgrounds. As a, as a good start for you. It saves a little bit of time. Um, if you don't have those pre-trimmed, just find some images from a magazine or uh, what other periodical. I have lots of um, images here that really are, draw me in. So um, I've decided that I'm going to make a card on presence. And um, there are several images here that I like. Um, ones that are like this bridge, um, there's this that has a, a tree and actually two people in it. This makes a nice background because it's kind of neutral. This actually also makes a nice Mac background. Um, and then there's this side of it, which really is a cool background as well. It has a, a feeling to it of, of sort of serene because of the water itself. Um, there's this image that has some people in it around um, some uh, uh, light or fire. So there are several pre-trimmed images in here uh, that I've looked through and um, I think the one that I'm going to start with um, is this one. Um, it has uh, it ha already has a couple of people in there. I don't know if I'm going to cover them up yet or not, but that's my start. That's going to be my background. And um, I like the idea of presence, of making sure that there's a maybe a person in the, um, in the image, but you don't have to have a person. So maybe presence is just something else about stillness. So remember, you get to decide what the focus of your card is, number one. Number two, the meanings of the images that you include in it. Now, I picked a couple of images I also like. I was thinking in terms of having sort of a dialogue of some sort or having two people together. I found this image. I kind of like this woman's face and um, also she's got something going on in her head as well that looks to me pretty serene. And then there's this image as well. I like that. Um, and I kind of actually like them in relationship to each other. To me, that's starting to represent a little bit of presence. You want to 
make sure that you limit the number of images to maybe two or three on top of the background. Just otherwise it gets kind of busy. So um, I actually also like this door and I'm gonna do something that, um, that uh, maybe, I'm gonna trim this a little bit more because I like the door, but I think I want it a little bit smaller. And um, I'm gonna put this on the background here. Um, and I kind of, because it's facing, this one's facing that way. And um, I'm kind of lucky I got this image that's facing the opposite direction. So I'm actually gonna cut it so that they're relatively the same size. Um, and so I'm just gonna trim this. I'm gonna trim it a little bit big just in case I want more of the image. Um, and putting that aside. I'm gonna trim this. Actually, I'm just gonna trim it just a little bit, maybe a little bit around. If I had more time, I might trim this closer, but I at least wanted to give you an idea. Um, so that one's gonna go on that side. This one's gonna go on this side. Um, boy, I really like that. So um, in a second, I'm gonna glue these down. Um, so, I like, I really like this, uh, this doorway, sort of that, uh, it is the opening in my, and as I'm thinking about this, it offers an opening. When I glue, I'm going to make sure I'm going to cover every little, um, nook and cranny here or every little square inch of this image because I really want it to stick down. Sometimes the glue on these glue sticks don't, uh, don't stick that well, um, so I'm gluing that in the center and I'm going to glue this um, on top of it. And again, remember what we're doing is creating a, about a five by seven card, the same size as the card that um, we have as the background. There's that one. And then this one. And I'm gonna glue, like I said, put glue on every little centimeter and I'm gluing it down here. Remember I said I cut this one a little bit big. Um, it's kind of overhanging in the back. I'm gonna trim that here in a minute. So once I'm done, um, I'm gonna fit this on, make sure that this is gonna fit on the back of this card. And I'm not gonna glue it on yet because I want to um, write on the card um, what my understanding of this particular principle is. So, there's a process for that to happen. The instructions are on the back of the person-centered care card. And we'll get to that in just a second. If you're in a group, someone will write for you. But I don't have a group here today. Here my group. Just grabbing a pen. So on the card, I'm gonna write my name. The theme for this, this card that I'm, um, that I'm uh, creating right now is um, about presence. So um, I'm just gonna take a deep breath. And when I read the card, I'm not describing the card. I'm not describing the images. What I'm doing is kind of imagining I'm speaking from the image. Um, and so what these, this says to me is, I am one who holds presence. I am one who breathes deeply. 
and attends closely. I am one who loves to hear others' stories. So if I had a scribe, I'd be writing that down. But you can see that for the card, we start with I am one who, and the card theme is presence. Um, and I'll go ahead and write that back in a few minutes. The last thing is to make sure that all of this is glued together. Again, I'm going to make sure that I'm uh, putting glue on every single little uh, centimeter of the back of the card. It just helps with uh, making sure everything sticks. Um, so you should have glue sticks, scissors, um, images handy. Um, sometimes the glue doesn't get on the way it needs to, but I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit. And there is my presents card. And now I have, um, I'm really kind of thinking at a deeper level what presence means to me. And that's the whole purpose of our creating this process for you as you're learning more about person-centered care and as you start to integrate it into your day-to-day -day work and maybe even your day-to-day -day life. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me. My information should be included in contacts for those of us on my team. So I look forward to seeing your cards. You're welcome to take a picture and email them to me. My email is um, susan, S-U-Z-A-N dot K dot Thompson, T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N at gmail.com. So send me your images. I'd love to see what you come up with. And until I meet you in person, thanks for joining me in making a person-centered care card. Take care. Bye.